Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try this DiGiorno personal sauce. This is the chicken alfredo. It's creamy alfredo style sauce, grilled white meat chicken, um, diced tomatoes, parsley, mozzarella, and parmesan cheeses. It looks really good. It says it's new and improved, tastier crust, hand tossed traditional crust. Um, 8.8 ounces or 251 grams. We bought this one at Target for $4.69, which is a little high, but but that's what it is. That says you can also try it in your air fryer. Uh, but they sell these everywhere. I mean, you can buy them at Walmart or, or Kroger or wherever. So, um, turn you down a little bit. 640 calories for the whole pizza. And there's your other info for you, if you like it. Um, you can do this in the oven. There's air fryer directions, which is cool. You have to have an air fryer big enough to put it in there, but there it is. Um, your oven directions, if you want to do it in the oven, of course, we don't do either one of those. We do it in the microwave, so we're going to follow these. So we're going to pull the tab, flip the box over, put the unwrap the pizza, put it on top of the thing, and microwave it for three and a half minutes. I know I did that really fast, but this is the traditional, typical box pizza, microwave pizza box that they've come out with in the past uh, few years, and this is just like all the rest of them. So... The problem is always opening them. So if you get them started and kind of run your fingers down the, the side and kind of pull it up, it'll it'll open better. Always having trouble getting the box open. So there's the pizza itself. Looks pretty good. Not too bad. You're gonna take your box, flip the flap over. Now let's see, make sure I look at the time before I flip it over. 3 30. So I'm going to open this plastic, get it on top of here. I will probably stick this whole box on top of a paper plate just so, first of all, I can pull it out and put it on there when I get it, when it gets done. But also, just in case any of this cheese like runs over the edges or anything, it just doesn't go in my microwave. So anyway, I'm going to take this plastic off and get it in the microwave. I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. And I um, haven't done anything to it, so it's still got the, it's still stuck to the little crisping tray. And I'll take this and just slide it right on this plate and I can cut it on this plate. Um, the chicken is all piled up in one spot. Yeah, I guess it's just how it's going to be because that's just, that's just how it's going to be. Now um, I see a little moisture underneath there. Hopefully it's not watery. The cheese is good and bubbly though and, and uh, I tried another pizza not that long ago and it um, the, the cheese on that one looked really um, like oily and plasticky looking. Um, this one doesn't look like that. That's, this looks like just melted cheese. So it, it's funny how um, different pizzas can look so different from each other. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna get this uh, over the table. I'll try it out. All right, so I got it all cut up and ready to go. Top piece of the chicken. Chicken has a really good flavor to it. It's got a, um, a little bit of spices on it. Not like spicy spice, but just um, seasonings. It's got some seasonings on it. Um, the piece I picked up just happened to be a little, almost rubbery texture, but not like really, really rubbery, just a little tough. Um, so I got a big piece of chicken right here for a try it out. No, it goes really well with the crust, so it's not rubbery or tough or anything like that. It goes, uh, it goes really well. I like the the Alfredo sauce on here. It's um, it's a nice uh, difference uh, when you get an Alfredo sauce instead of a ch uh, tomato based sauce. Um, it just is just different. It's um, it adds a little bit of a, a creamy kind of flavor to it. It's really good actually. Um, the crust is really good. You can see how thick the crust is. It's a nice crust and it's got a good flavor to it too. A little crispy on the bottom. It's not what I consider like crunchy crust, but it is a, um, it's got a firmness on the bottom, so it's not soggy or anything like that. Yeah, I really like the combination of the, um, the cheese and Alfredo sauce and the crust. The chicken, it's not in every bite. I mean, you could take the piece of the chicken and move it around and make sure it was in every bite, but the way it is on mine, um, it isn't on every bite. It would be, uh, it's kind of like a little strip right down the middle. But when you get the piece of chicken, it has an additional like seasoning to it. 
so it adds a little different flavor to the to the overall um, taste of the pizza itself. I think this pizza is good. It's a, like the most awesome thing I've ever had, but it is really good. Um, this reminds me, I know it's completely different, but it's uh, there was a, um, I think it was Rayo had a, a Rea, had a, a Reina, sorry, Reina, that had a chicken Alfredo lasagna, which it had um, Alfredo sauce instead of a tomato sauce between the noodles. It was really, really good. I really, really liked it. This kind of reminds me of the same thing. It's going the same direction. It's got an Alfredo sauce into, instead of a tomato sauce. I really like that change. So it's something different. I'm going to give this one a four out of five. I really do like it. I uh, would recommend you try it out if you're interested, if you like a chicken Alfredo. If you don't like white sauces, of course, you're not going to like this like at all. But if you like a white sauce like I do, um, you'll really enjoy this, I think. So um, I, yeah, I think the flavors, the textures, everything's really good. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.